So today our focus is on parallel and perpendicular lines. So parallel lines do not intersect. So if you look, these two lines have an equal distance between them and they will never intersect. And we denote parallel lines with these little arrows. So those two lines are parallel and these two lines are parallel. So perpendicular lines intersect to form right angles and we denote this by a little square just like we denote any any kind of right angle. So each one of these angles right here is a right angle. So they all measure 90 degrees. So now that we know what parallel and perpendicular lines are, we're going to name a few. So name two sets of parallel lines. Well, if we start with segment LN, we know that LN is parallel to MO because they both have these little lines on them. So LN is parallel to MO. And that's how we write parallel lines with these two little lines right, right here. So the second set, if I look for two tick marks, there is L, M, and N, O. And that makes sense because if I were to extend these lines on forever and ever and ever, they would never intersect. So line L, M is parallel to N, O. name two sets of perpendicular lines. So like we said, perpendicular lines intersect to form right angles. So we know that none of the parallel lines can also be perpendicular. So if we look, we've got a right angle right here and LN, this segment right here, and NO meet, intersect to form a right angle. So that means LN is parallel, excuse me, is perpendicular to NO. And if you look at this other right angle right here, it's formed when LM and MO intersect. So that means segment LM is parallel to line segment M -O. Well, that's all we're going to do today with parallel and perpendicular lines, but next time we're going to talk about other kinds of angles that can be formed when two lines intersect. So make sure you come check it out.